Former SAS soldier turned government minister Martin Hamilton Smith has taken up the fight to save South Australia's largest collection of defence vehicles. The National Military Vehicle Museum is at risk of closure unless it can find the money to buy its Edinburgh Park site. This unique collection of military vehicles has been built up over nearly 40 years and has been at its Edinburgh Park site since 2008. When you have a look at this room, it looks perfect for yeah. a collection like this. It's perfect. Um, like I said, the, the building fits the vehicles too. It built in the 1940s um, so, and used to manufacture TNT during the Second World War. There are more than 65 vehicles from World War I through to the Vietnam War. This would have seen service probably in the Middle East and um, very, very popular vehicle. Um, Anzac Day gets out every Anzac Day in town and um, yeah, Lady Downer um, sits proudly in the back during the Anzac Day parade. But the property, owned by Goodman Property Australia, is up for sale. And unless the museum, which is run by a not-for-profit group, can find $300,000, it could be doomed. We'd have to close, so our collection would be more than likely would be lost either interstate or overseas. When I walked into this museum, I was amazed at the size and the quality of the collection. It's a snapshot of our precious military history and it would be a tragedy for our state to lose it. 90% of the vehicles in here run. Anzac Days are very busy for us. We, we provide transport for the Anzac Day Parade in the city. But Veterans Affairs Minister Martin Hamilton-Smith is throwing his weight behind the museum and is in talks with Salisbury Council and the property owners. We want to do everything we can to help this organisation either secure its present premises or find alternative premises that enable this wonderful resource to be preserved going into the future. It's absolutely spectacular. The museum is open every Sunday and public holiday. Rob Kelvin, Nine News.